Hi, I'm Julian. Welcome to Meet Me at the Corner. I'm here in sunny Southern California. Today, we're going to use that sunlight in a whole new way by exploring pinhole photography. We're going to be using a recycled paint can like this one. Pinhole cameras are different than regular cameras because there is no lens. Instead, light passes through a tiny hole and forms an image inside the camera. Pinhole cameras can be made of almost anything. Shells, candy containers, and anything else you might imagine. We're going to get some help from San Diego photographer Chris Kinney. He's going to talk about how it's part art, part science, and a lot of fun. Hi, Julian. I'm Chris. Nice to meet you. Come on in. How are photos taken in a regular camera different than a pinhole camera? Well, the first main difference is that a pinhole camera doesn't have a lens, so it's lensless. Second difference is that a pinhole camera can be made pretty much out of any container, a box, a can, so it's limitless as far as to what you can make a pinhole camera with. Why is this called slow photography? Regular cameras, the exposure is made within a fraction of a second, whereas with a pinhole camera, uh, this process will take uh, seconds, if not minutes, to make the same picture. Is pinhole photography difficult? No, not at all. Um, since you can make a pinhole camera out of pretty much anything, uh, you can make it in your home or your garage, and you can process the uh, negatives in your bathroom or any room in your house that's light tight. Can you tell me how a pinhole camera works? Sure. Well, this particular camera is made from a paint can. The interior, hold on, the interior of the can was painted black so that uh, when light passes through the pinhole it doesn't bounce around on uh, the silver surface of the can. Uh, then the next step would be to to drill the pinhole uh, in the front which is right here. Uh, next thing would do is to put your magnet back on, put the paper in a, in, in a room that is um, light tight and dark, like a dark room. Put the paper in the can like that. Put the lid back on. Make sure it's light tight. Press down. And then you would uh, find something to photograph. Remove the, the magnet shutter, which uh, is now light is passing through the pinhole onto the paper in the back. After the exposure is done, put the magnet back on the pinhole. Process your negative. For more information about the cameras we've used today and how to get started, just check out our website. That's it for my corner of the world. Thirty seconds.